everyone, welcome back to uh, Rathbone Manor and the kitchen. We are having a new tumble dryer delivered today, so I've got to get this one out of here. Um, we've had this since about, I believe, 2013. It's an old candy. Um, first thing I'm going to have to do is get the water out of the bottom because it'll be uh, full of water. Okay, then let's haul its ass out of here. Okie dokie. Get it the hell out of here. Okay, so this is the date here when we got it. 30, 11, that's November. 2013 so I've had it quite a while and it has been playing up for a few months now um, luckily we ordered the other one I think it was Saturday last Saturday about a week ago and um, Tuesday Mrs Rathbone came to use it and it wouldn't work at all completely dead now so uh, better just check there's no clothes in it oh bash the camera yep definitely empty in there so um that's going to be taken away by AO later on and then we'll have the new one so uh, give us a few moments while they come round and drop it off and we'll move it into the sitting room near the front door before finally throwing it outside ok guys, thank you cool, so let's, let's get it moved into the kitchen shall we Okay, so uh, let's get the packaging off and uh, let's have a look. Use my little knife here. Hopefully. Doink. Doink. Okay. Get straps out of it. Deal with those in a minute. I have a feeling I should have kept my knife out. Okay. Right, now all we've got to do is get it off the uh, polystyrene pallet there and then move it into this hole here and get it installed. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll write the date on the back of the uh, tumble dryer. 210821. <laughs> Next up we'll use some uh, flea market side cutters to get the um, plug off and by that I, re I mean released. And now all we have to do is run it over into the hole over there. What's this? Okay, there's some stuff inside it then obviously. Luke, so we can get it over there. Hop. At least it's not as heavy as the washing machine. Get the plug in position. There we go. Right, let's hope it goes into the, the hole then. It looks a bit wider for some reason or another. Come on, you can do it. Blimey. Um, can't get my hands in there. Oh my lord. Can we get it in? I'm sure it's wider than the other one. Oh, 
we'll have a look. Blimey. Wait, it doesn't want to go in. Come on. You can do it. Good reef, Penfold. Why does it not want to go in there? Come on. Ugh. Better get this bit of tape off the top first. Grief. Uh, what? Right. Okay. See if we can get it in. Right. Ta da! I do believe. That'll do it. Can we open the doors? Yep. Can we open the door? Oh, blimey. Okay. Back a bit more then. Yep. Cool. Okay, so there's a few more bits of tape to get off. That bit's holding the door shut. This bit down here, whatever that's doing. Right, don't know what's in there yet. Apparently there's something in here. And the door opens the other way on this one from what it did on the old one. I don't think we've got any of this. Okay. Right, what have we got here then? A hose. And the instructions. And then we have some protective film over the, uh, the window just there. And over the little switch just there too. Okay, so what have we got here then, guys? Alrighty, so what we have here is a Beko, and the model number is uh, DTLCE80121W, because it's white, obviously. Um, it's a one to eight kilogram drum in here. Uh, we've got a clear window so we can actually see what's going on in this one while it's working. Um, blimey. It's a nice large, um, how do you open this thing? There we go. It's a nice large uh, fluff filter there. So that's a good one. What we've got down here then? I'll have to look at the instructions. Okay, so apparently we have the condenser under here. So push this button. The little door opens, hopefully, and stays open. We just turn these, and out comes the little. Blimey, that's a small condenser compared with our old one. Okay, so that can go back in there then. Hopefully, these things are always pain to get back right now. Out, shut the little door, and the water tank on this one is up the top there, just to here. So give it a pull, that comes the water tank. I don't know how much that holds, but uh, there's a little funnel there. So just pop that back in. And then uh, just read the instructions and see how we work the thing. Apparently you have to switch it on at the mains first, like so. Okay guys, well it just so happens that I have a bunch of towels in here that are going to need drying. So what we'll do is we'll chuck them in and give them a go. Open the door, chuck them in. What the? What's this? What on earth? Well, apparently it helps if you take this little fella out here, which is um, some kind of break for the drum, I think. Right, so it goes around a lot easier now. Right, let's get the towels back in there then. Now, apparently it's very important that you don't leave any towels hanging out of the door. So let's just check we've got it right. Oh, good. So we can shut the door then. Cool. Okay, so now we've got the door shut and there's no uh, towels hanging out, 
we can actually switch this thing on and we have the towels setting right here. So let's see what happens when we turn it round to the towel setting. Oh, and the light comes on in the um, cabinet too. Look at that. Well, we haven't um, ever had a tumble dryer with a clear door on it yet, so it's quite handy to have the light in there so you can watch stuff going around, I guess. Right, so we've got it set on towel setting. Now over here, we have the info panel and we have start and pause button just here. So let's see what happens when we press the start pause button. And what I'm hoping is gonna happen, it's gonna switch on and start drying the towels. Let's give it a go. Oh, look at that. And the lights come back on again. Nice. I wonder how long this is gonna take. What's the time now then? Okay, 9.26. That's how long this light takes. Well, one thing I can tell you straight away, it's a lot quieter than our old one. Okay, so it looks like the uh, towels drying program is gonna take roughly 105 minutes. So what we'll do, we'll leave it to do its thing and then we'll come back later on. Okay guys, so uh, here we are some time later and the um, tumble dryer is uh, showing this little symbol here which apparently means the um, fluff filters filled up, filled up again. Um, I've emptied it uh, twice, so let's have a look. Here it is, this little fella right here. How full is it exactly? I can't see a great deal in there. So I'm going to say that the uh, program's finished. Okay, so all the towels are all nice and warm and fluffy and lovely and I should say they're most likely dry by now, guys. So I think what we better do is oik them out. There we go. I like this uh, interior lighting here, that's good. You can see uh, exactly what's going on. Cool. Okay, so how much water have we collected from those towels? Let's have a look. Oh, there's a fair bit in there, look. Is it sloshing around? I don't know if you can see that. Okay then, so that's our new Beko tumble dryer, installed and working. And it also bleats at you when you turn it on and off. I don't know if you heard that from over there. But it's uh, done a fairly decent job on the towels by the looks of things, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get um, many more years of usage out of this little fellow then. Um, I suppose i better read the instructions, because I'm uh, not very good with uh, kitchen equipment. That's uh, Mrs. Rathbone's department, is that, I reckon. But uh, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. Have you got one of these little fellows? What's it like to run? Um, I think the door, so I've noticed the door's a little bit wobbly on this one compared with the other one, but then the other one wasn't um, a particularly very good one. I don't think we just bought it because it was really cheap and it lasted us um, since 2013 so it's lasted us quite a while and it's only just stopped working this last week but um, hopefully this one will last us equally as long because it cost us a great deal uh, more money than that one did and we got this one on some, some sort of offer as well so I think this is an outgoing model but it doesn't matter to us because it still does what we want it to do so uh, it should be handy over the winter then. Alright guys, well thanks for popping over to Rathbone Manor and taking a look at the uh, new Beko tumble dryer here. Hopefully it should give us um, many years of uh, good usage, I hope. I, what I do like about it is the way the drum illuminates. I like that a lot, that's really good, I like that. You know, little things, please little minds, but I like it. Um, yeah, so, uh, so far so good then guys. Alright, well thanks for popping over and thanks for watching and I hope you found uh, found it interesting and I'll catch you later on. <laughs>